Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Our God is good. Our God is great. Give him honor that is due to him, everybody. Hallelujah. Stand to your feet wherever you are at. Clap your hands wherever you're at. Lift up your hands wherever you're at. Honor God, the most high. Hallelujah. He's deserving of it, and he's deserving of even that much more. So give him a high praise, a great word that could come out of your mouth that will honor him, that would describe his great works. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father. Thank you for this great day. Thank you, Father. We just want to honor our God today. We also just want to give, give an honor to all of those people that are out there on Facebook Live. We just want to welcome you to Choice Harvest, El Cajon. We just thank you for being in our presence. Thank you for being in the Lord's presence. Thank you for joining us. And we pray that something that is said will do something in your life. Let it touch you. So open your ears, open your hearts, because God is going to deliver. Hallelujah. He's going to deliver a great word, a great word that's just for you. Hallelujah. God is unfailing in all his ways. So we just want to honor you. We just want to welcome you. And all those that are, that are regulars to Facebook, we just want to say hello and praise the Lord to you as well. Thank you for always being supportive to Choice. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your prayers. We know that we've been in a high praise for the past three weeks. The Lord has been doing something miraculous for choice. So we just want to honor everybody who's been participating. And we just want to say thank you. Amen. And I just want to uh, read today's word of inspiration. And it's uh, coming from Psalms 111, 1 through 5. And it reads, praise ye the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright and in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great, sought, sought out of all them that have pleasure therein. His work is honorable and glorious, and his righteousness endureth forever. He hath made his wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, amen. He hath given meat unto them that fear him. He will ever be mindful of his covenant. And in all this, O oh Lord, I release my praise to you. I see glory. Amen. 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 Our God is gracious. Our God is full of compassion. Release praise unto God. Hallelujah. Release it to him. Hallelujah. It's a great day and a great time to release our praise unto God. Such a time as this. Release your praise unto God. Thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. Thank you for your compassion on us, Lord. Thank you for your unconquerable love. Hallelujah. Your love is unconquerable, Lord. Hallelujah. So we thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. For always being mindful of your people, Lord. Thank you for your graciousness. Thank you for your love, Father God, that is widespread, Lord. Thank you, Father God, for your keeping power, Father God. Thank you, Father God, because we know that we are not condemned. Hallelujah. But thank you, Lord, for lifting us up, Father God. Hallelujah. Nothing shall separate us from the love of God. Hallelujah. Nothing shall separate us from his love. Hallelujah. Again, his love is unconquerable. We thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, for filling us with words of encouragement. Thank you, Father God, for your keeping power. Thank you for strengthening us, Father God, through these past few weeks, Father God. You have kept us, Father God. Hallelujah. Although we know, Father God, that there will be troubles. Hallelujah. That there will be pain, Lord. But there will be good times as well, Father God. But through it all, Lord, you have kept us, Lord. And you have encouraged us. Hallelujah. So we thank you for being a, a God that's forever loving, a God that's forever kind, a God that's forever mindful of his people. We thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. You're worthy in all your ways. We thank you, Father God. We honor you, Lord, because honor is due to you, Lord. That honor is due to you, Father God. If and even if we don't feel like it, honor is due to you. Hallelujah. If you just but lift up your voice, hallelujah, Let, watch and see if the Lord does not come through because honor is due to him. Honor him. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord, today. We thank you, Father God, for the word that's going to come forth. We thank you for the song that's going to come forth, Father God. Minister to our hearts right now as you have been, Lord. And strengthen us even the more so, Lord. So we thank you, Father God, for what's to be expected, Father God. Hallelujah. We're bubble up and inside, Father God, because we know, hallelujah, something great is going to come out of this, Lord. Hallelujah. Something great, Lord. 
So we thank you, Father God. Thank you for always being mindful of us, Lord. Bless your word today. Bless your people today, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for the beauty in your word. We thank you for the beauty of your holiness, Lord. We thank you, Father God, for your grandeur. Hallelujah. You are a grand God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Lord. Bless this day, Father God. And we will forever honor you. We will forever bow down to you. We will forever be grateful unto you, Father God. We worship you, Father God. Now let everything that be done today be pleasing in your sight, Father God. Sit with us, Father God. Hallelujah. Comfort us, hug us, love on us, Father God, so we can love on you as well, Lord. We know that something great is coming out of today, Lord. We bless you, Father God, and we thank you for your presence. We honor you and we welcome you in. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Give God the praise. Hallelujah. Yes, God, we lift you today, Lord. Hallelujah. Glorify your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Enter in, God. Hallelujah. Yes, God, I give you the glory.
God. Seek him first. Come on, give God a praise. Seek him first. How many times have you put God as the last resort and everything that you tried did not work? But when we put him first, when we go into prayer and usually we're just running through and it's just like, okay, God, I want to say everything. But the Lord said, seek him while he yet may be found. Seek him early and he will be found of thee. Come on, give God a praise. Hallelujah. That's an ongoing relationship. It's an ongoing conversation. It is ongoing communion with him. The one that loves our soul. Come on and give God praise. He loves your soul. Come on, give him praise. He loves your soul. He loves your soul. He loves your soul. Hallelujah. We again welcome you to Choice Harvest Worship Center. Amen. And we thank you for tuning in this morning. We want to say thank you uh, for those of you that are, your, it's your first time visiting us. Amen. You may be not in the building, but on Facebook. And if you are, if this is your first time, please go to our webpage at choiceharvest.org and connect with us there. Amen. Our 2020 giving statements have already, uh, some of you have already received yours and what those um, have on them are all the, the records of all of your donations that you have given in 2020. And I want to uh, make this known to people that every dime that you have given to the church, when you file your taxes, you, get, you can claim the, that money on your taxes. Get your money back. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, you know, it's a win-win situation. Amen. Giving is a win-win situation other than what people make it seem like it is, but it is a win-win situation. You are giving unto the Lord during the whole year, and at the end of the year, you file those taxes, and if you look for the right little number on your tax page, you can claim those deductions back. Amen. So God is not a thief. Praise the Lord. You get it back some kind of way. Amen. So give God praise for that. This morning we are uh, in the book of Psalms 1, 1 through 3. And it says, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in the Lord he does meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose seed, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. And just as I said earlier, you know, the Lord uh, does not find pleasure in us uh, getting counsel from people that are ungodly concerning anything that pertains unto our life, because the ungodly can lead us astray. Amen. And especially as it relates to giving, we have individuals that say, why are you giving your money to that church? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? That is not wise counsel. Amen. If you look in the book, the Lord says to lay it aside. Amen. Whatever increase that you get, the Lord says, take a portion of that, lay it aside and give it unto the house of the Lord because there is work to do. Amen. So we should not listen to the ungodly. We should not take their take on it. We should not listen to their quote unquote foolishness. Amen. And if we, of course, you know, you see a lot of people that are just so full of scorn about all kinds of things. And I used to always say to uh, uh, Pastor Brown, uh, we should have no problem serving the Lord and giving unto the Lord because we, when we were not saved, we were that ungodly. We were those sinners. Amen. I used to jeopardize my life every week. Amen. And I know somebody know what I'm talking about. We jeopardized our life every week. Amen. Drinking and carousing and living riotously. We put our lives in jeopardy and didn't think nothing about it. Got right up the next morning with bruises and cuts. Amen. And went right back to it the next weekend. Amen. But thanks be unto God who has given unto us abundant life and that we don't have to destroy our lives like that. Amen. And when you count up the cost of what you spend riotously, that's nothing compared to what God is asking you for. So let not the ungodly deceive you. 
The Lord said you will have great success if you meditate in his word day and night. And I'm telling you, I couldn't have great success because I was so drunk. Couldn't have great success because my brain was being numbed. Glory to God. Couldn't have great success, but I sure didn't know how to fight. <laughs> Amen. But when we meditate upon the Lord's word day and night, we will have great success. And he promises here that we shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters. And when the time comes, it will bring forth its fruit in due season. So this is what we are going to declare today as a prayer. As I give in today's offering, I pray that God will guard my path and help me to walk in his ways and obey his principles all the days of my life. Let my life be fruitful and let it be impacting. Let me, let me, my giving be governed by the word of God, not by the ungodly. And let my life be as blessed with good fruit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together and give God praise. As we always say, we thank God for those that are continuing to support Choice Harvest Worship Center. We thank you so much. And of course, you know, even before the pandemic, it's always been a strain, but God has always sustained. Come on and give him praise. He is always sustained. Amen. He has sustained, amen, when it was full, and he has sustained now that there's very few in the house. But we thank God because he is faithful. And we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you that you are mindful of Choice Harvest Worship Center. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart because you don't know the tears that we have cried, amen. But nonetheless, God still sustains. Somebody say through every strain. <laughs> Amen. So we just thank him for that. And I did want to mention that our first fruits Sunday, this is the first time that we're going to do it ever. And it's going to be on Sunday, March 28th. And that is the day that we are asking everyone to set aside a special offering. And this offering will help us to be able to fulfill the things that God has given us to do, the missions that we have to do. Amen. The, the, the building back there, somebody was talking about we we got some work to do amen so we're going to be sending out more information so we can start that going amen but remember and mark your calendar for march the 28th we do have ways to give there's a number of ways they have posted it already on the uh, feed and so you can give heed to that if you do accept the lord jesus christ today make sure you go to our website choiceharvest.org and you can make your a decision made known unto us because today is the day of salvation not tomorrow for somebody somebody is appointed to be saved today amen so at this time put your hands together and praise the lord amen for the man of god as he comes to preach the word of god amen pastor dj brown the senior pastor of this church god bless you praise the lord everybody praise the lord everybody Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise ye the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Lift your hands in worship and thank God. Yes, 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 yes. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. My God, hallelujah. Thank you. Mm. I'd rather be a doorman, my God. Hallelujah, in the house of the Lord than to be, to dwell in the tents of the wicked. That's what David said. I'd rather, I'd rather be in the presence of God having nothing than to be my God in the place and standing and sitting and, and uh, walking in with the wicked in the name of Jesus. That I did do. But thanks God, thank God for his transforming power. Yeah. The Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation, a new creature, new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. I just want to take time to thank God for these three weeks of fasting and praying and teaching. And my God, I mean, it, it was it was just right out of right out of, out of our soul. 
we met God, amen, Monday through Friday, we met God in this church or in our home, my God, and we were committed. The body can feel it too, but we were committed, and we're so thankful for those that uh, were on streaming live with us, that you participated, amen, and you, you, uh, I pray that something, I, I know, I was telling my wife that on the way to the church, I said, the Bible says that one plants, one waters, for only God gives an increase. And I know we was planting and watering. Amen. I know we did that for three weeks. So now we're looking for the increase. Something great is coming out of this. I heard Sister Taisha say that on Friday. Something she's waiting to see what's going to come out of all of this. I'm just excited this morning and I'm so thankful. It's like we've been in a revival. Uh, well, we've been revived. And I, I'm just so thankful, amen, for the mandate to pray. And that's what the Lord told us that we need to first things first. Before anything else happens, we need to begin to pray. My God, and not only begin to pray, but we have to continue to pray. So I'm so thankful. I pray that you have been blessed. Uh, well, we getting ready to go into the word of the Lord. And I, I know we have a word from God today. <clears throat> and I'm excited just from the very topic of it uh, when God spoke it to me. And I, I love the Lord because he always confirms his word with me. And uh, so we're going to be in the book of Luke, the 15th chapter. A scripture, you, scripture you already know. And, uh, but we're going to start at, I know I'm going to start at verse 17, but I'm going to start at verse 11. And we're going to read uh, so that uh, we can get a feel for what God is uh, doing in us and what he shall do in us and what he wants to speak to us today. Is that all right? And he said, a certain man had two sons and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that fall to me. And he divided unto him his living. Now many days after the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country. And that wasted his substance with riotous living. Some of us say wasted. Yeah. And when he had spent all, there arose a famine in that land. And he began to be in want, that land where he was. Mm, my God. Oh, I don't even want to go there yet. Uh, and he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country. And he sent him into the fields to feed swine. Glory. Glory be to God. Uh, and he would vain have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat. Mm -mm, ain't that something? I'm trying to get this going here. Y'all pray for me. And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants are my father's? Have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger. Verse 18, I will arise and go to my father and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and I am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran. And fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight. And am no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servants, bring forth the best robe. The one that was waiting on him. And put it on him and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet. And bring hither the fatted calf and kill it and let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead and is alive again. And he was lost and is found. And the Bible says, and they began to be merry. Thank you, God, for the reading of his word. I want to speak from a thought today. After all that reading, favor is fair. I know some of you probably haven't caught it yet because it don't seem like it's even in the text, but I want to tell you something. Favor is fair. And, and I want to, and I haven't did a subtopic in, in a few months, but I want to say this. 
something I never had. Glory. Come on. Come on. Come on. Somebody say something I never had. Yes, something I never had. There is a statement that you and I have quoted uh, when, you know, when we see that someone is totally blessed by the hand of God. We normally would say, and putting the person in a certain category, we would say favor isn't fair. But I want to say today that favor is fair. And the reason I want to say that because you and I have uh, and can have a very elementary view of favor. I want to say that, see, favor does not exempt us from trouble. But I want to tell you, oftentimes it will cause trouble. It will cause trouble. It, it, it's just like bees to a honeycomb. It, 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 as soon as a person finds out that you are uh, living well off and you are uh, not even trying to do it, it's just because of favor, uh, then you will then have some haters on your road. You have some haters, amen, people that hate you that you don't even know. Uh, but if they only knew what it took and what it will take for you to get the favor, number one, and then also to then maintain it, I believe they would have a different view about you and they would make that, that last statement, favor is fair. See, uh, 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 the favor does not, uh, it's a grace. And I heard uh, um, Co-Pastor Brown say this uh, last week, thirsty, matter of fact, uh, that you have to have a grace to be able to tolerate and endure tests and trials. Let me say that one more time. We have to see grace, grace, favor is full of grace. Uh, it's full of mercy. It's full of love. It, it's full of endurance. Uh, it, 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 it's just not favor to, to say that you, you got it going on. It, it's not favor so you got the bling bling and you got the ding ding and you got, uh, you know, you, look, you got the nice cars. You, all that is good. All that comes with the favor. Uh, but just because I don't have those things does not mean that I don't have favor on my life. What takes for you, amen, in your favor might not have to take that much for me in my favor. You might need to be uh, rich and well off, uh, uh, but then I could take that same money that I have and then I can be, I can make myself well off. You could become a millionaire, amen, just by somebody passing down something to you in an inheritance. But I might have to work my hands, uh, you know, I might have to work hard to get mine. Uh, uh, you know, I, I might have to be one of those self, uh, what do you call it, induced millionaires. I might, I, I, and, and, and I just want to say, I, I, maybe I might even be a millionaire, but I, I, right now I feel well off because I'm rich and famous already. Hey, Shebe, Shebe. Uh, you know, I, 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 I heard a sister say the other day that, you know, uh, you know, we don't choose uh, uh, pastoring and ministering and things just so we can we can get some fame. Praise God. That's 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 kind of uh, uh, that's kind of uh, retarded to me because I know wh what we have had to go through, uh, you know, to to uh, obtain just a little stuff that we have. But favor sometimes is very costly. Let me. Yeah, I'm going to take my time. Favor is very costly. It, if you could talk to Job, if you could talk to Joseph, if you could talk to David, then they would let you know, amen, that uh, uh, talk to Solomon. Read in the book of Ecclesiastes. It is not all that what you think it is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, you know, I think about it. You know, I do. I remember we all do. I think about it. I look on, you know, the internet. I look at certain things. I said, Lord, if I had all that. But then I said, Lord, if I had all that, then I have all that. Yeah, what comes with, if you can handle it, fine, that, that's fine. But, but God, I just want the endowment that you are placing upon my life. And I do feel 
that God is going to bring some stuff through here that's going to blow our mind. I, 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 you, I can't stop that. I, I don't want to stop that. I, I'm not, I'm just saying I believe that everybody should be, you should be well off in your mind. No, God, I'm getting ahead of myself. Number one, you should be well off. And James, James, James gives us a, a testimony about, about Job. He said in James 5, 11, he said, behold, we count them happy. Listen to this, which endure. Yeah. Whew. I think what Paul told Timothy to endure hardship as a good soldier. You know, those to endure and to last and to 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 work it out with God and to to struggle with God, but to go through some some embarrassing moments and some and some and some shameful moments with God will get you favor. All day long, you 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 will come out of that. Amen. As James says, he, he, he you heard of the patience of Job and have seen. Listen to this: the end of Job. You you seen the end? Of, no, you have seen the end of the Lord because the Lord was all all in that. It, it wasn't only it wasn't just Job in doing, but it was the Lord in doing and putting the devil to shame. Have you considered, my friend Job? <laughs> Well, for God to say that about you and I, to say that about somebody, that means that amen, he, he trusts what he puts in us. He trusts that you're going to have the grace to tolerate and to be able to endure this test and trial that I have put in your, in your face. But at the end, the Lord turned the captivity of Job, Job 42 and 10, and he said that he, he, he did it when he prayed for his friends, and the Lord also gave, listen to this, Job twice as much as he had before. So let me, wait just a minute. So there's two things that he did. He turned his captivity, then he gave him twice as much as he had. So he did a spiritual thing and a natural thing at the same time. Because for you, amen, to be going through and you're scraping the sores and the balls off your body, uh, uh, you know, and, and don't know uh, how to get out of it. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. That's some captivity. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You wake up with a, yeah, you wake up with an ailment in your mind and your body and your soul. And you have to endure that. That is some captivity. But favor is the approval and the support of someone or something. It is a, what we, it is a benevolence. Uh, it's, a, it's a benevolence. It's because of someone wants to support you and someone, admit, wants to bless you. Come on. And that someone and that, that person is God. He, 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 just, he just puts it on you. I didn't ask for this, but God said, I got to, I got to give this to you because uh, uh, it's more than what people think. It is, this is what the Lord gave me. It is the power to keep you and I when we go through something and, and we go through and we don't lose everything. God. How you doing, Charles? How you doing? Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm just talking to you. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 that thing blew my mind. It is the power to keep you while you're going through something. And when you go through something, you lose something, but you don't lose everything. Shande Bobosia. Hallelujah. My God, my God knows what he said. He wouldn't put no more on us than we can bear. So he knows. So this, 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 I know I'm moving because we have communion, but, but this, this is God's uh, uh, approval. They asked a man one time, uh, John 9, he said, well, he was blind. He asked, he asked the, the, uh, 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 Jesus, the disciples, asked Jesus, well, what happened? Did, who, who sinned in his family? Because they always, when you're going through something, folks, it's just like Job's friends want to know what happened. Sometimes you don't know what happened. You know, I don't know why this is happening to me. I haven't did anything wrong. He said, uh, Jesus said, neither, uh, neither, however you pronounce your neither, your neither. Uh, neither, he said, but this is to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Why did he wait four days for Lazarus? Well, God was trying to prove a point that I am the resurrection and the life. Hallelujah. He that come to me, amen. My God, you would have life and you have life and you have life and that more abundantly. I am. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no other way shall a man be able to go. I, I'm just, he told, he told Moses, tell him I am sent you. Praise God. I don't need to explain nothing to nobody. Once you open your mouth, they
they're going to know, amen, who I am is. Once I come in the midst of them, once I bring you out of this, this Egypt situation, they're going to know who I am is. And that's the problem is that the problem is, is that we don't know who I am is. And we need to know who I am is. Amen. I am. That's all that you need to know. And God will prove the rest. Amen. That's what we need. We need beyond everything else we need to know. And so the prodigal son had to know about this favor. Yeah, I want to look at it a whole different way. It blew my mind. It blew my mind. Clifford, it blew my, blew my mind. I said, okay, God, now how? Okay, okay. I ain't going to ask you no questions. I just know how you're you going to do this. Uh, it, it, number one, he had to have favor to be able to get his inheritance before time. His, his, the Bible says his portion. Father, give me the portion of goods that fall up to me. I know you didn't heard this before, but hear this one. Give me, give me the portion that fall up to me. Amen. I need, I need that, I need that portion right now. I can imagine the father said, Boy, who been talking to you? That's what mama would say. Uh, uh, where, where did that wild spirit come from? Praise God. Uh, uh, who, who enticed you to come to ask me this? Had you been thinking about this all along? Uh, thinking that you can make it on your own? Have you? Have you? You know how we are when we're green in, in, in the ministry. Are we, we're young, and, and I can't say what we normally say, but amen. But we're young and, and, and you know, and dumb and, you know, and all that. We, 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 but we want to, we, hey, I feel that I can manage this myself. So give me the portion of goods that fall up to me right now. That, that's what I need. And he divided unto them, right, his living. It wasn't their living. It was the father's living. He divided it unto them. The, the old elder brother got a, his portion and Lord have mercy. And the younger son got his portion. The younger son left and the older son stayed there. I just want to know what would you do with your portion? If the Lord gave you all that he said he's going to give you, amen, my God have mercy. If you came to him and asked him, God, give me all, give me all that fall to me. I, I need it right now. What would you do? Where would you be able to handle the portion? Uh, would we be able to handle the portion? Would we be smart enough to maintain the portion of goods that fall? Because when God gives portions, it's pressed down, shaking together, running over. When God, if God gave us everything that he really wanted us to have, Lord, our mind would be blown. I'm going to say it's really quiet because it is quiet. I'm just, you know, this stuff, this, this stuff, this, 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 this stuff, this pandemic is, I mean, I'm working through it. Praise God. I don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to be rebellious, but that, you know, you, you got to work through this. You know, it's just like, like the pro basketball guys, you know, they, they got to work through a bubble. Jeez. They just, you, you, you can't go nowhere. You know, I mean, they, they won Lagos. My team won a championship through the bubble. And they, some folks are saying they are going to put an asterisk beside it because it was, it was a fake, it was a fake, uh, uh, championship. The devil is a lie. Anytime you got to just stay in a hotel, get on the bus and ride to the to the stadium and then go back. I mean to the arena and then go back and then you do that for what, three months? Ah, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I trip sometime now and I'm not, I mean, I got somewhat freedom. But let me get back to uh, 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 my text. But he, he, honey, he divided and then, but see, because then he didn't know how to handle it. He, he said, not many days. You know how it is, boy, when that money's in your pocket. Praise God. I, whoo, I got ants in, the, in my pants and I need to dance. I got, I got my stuff, boy. I, got, I got, got my chips. My God, I got, I, got, I, got, I got some racks up in my pocket. I got racks. I got 10 racks. I got 30 racks. Yeah, I know all the lingo. And, and, and I, I, but I got my stuff. I got, I got, I got my stuff. God, give me, that, give me that part that's been hidden that I don't know about. Just give me all that. I need, I need all of that. God is a, he will do it too. God, God, God works in a permissive will. God works in a permissive will. So some of us, we think that it is, it is a blessing. It is a blessing. Uh, but we think that, it, 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 that, okay, thank you, God. I knew I was asking the right thing. But God said, no, well, well you know what? You were asking the wrong thing, but I'm going to make it right for you because 
better the, is the end of a thing than the beginning. So I know exactly what, what it's going to do for us. He knows exactly what it's going to do for us. So, so go ahead on. I'm just, I'm just it's going to fall to you. It's like rain, my God. Hallelujah. You're going to be able to make it rain once I give you all of this. He loaded his stuff up, packed his bags. My God got on his donkey, his, his camel. He, you know, because it was rich, so he was loaded. He, he, you know, he had his, his, his uh, what you call it, chariots or whatever it may be. And they got to, he said, well, you know what? I, I got to go to L.A. today. I got to go to L.A. I, L.A., no, no, wait a minute. I need to go up to Sacramento because I want to be, I want to be nine, at least, it was about 900 miles, I think, if, if I'm correct. Yeah, at least, it, it took us nine hours to get up there, I believe. I want to be as far off, matter of fact, I might even go to the East Coast because I want to be as far away from any discipline, uh, 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 you know, in the father's. I want to get away from my father's house. Dad, I love you, but I got to go. And so uh, it got, it got, the father released it. And he, it would have been fine if he took his journey and into a good country, but he took his a uh, close, close by, but he took his journey and journey. The Bible says into a far country and whew, there he wasted his substance with righteous living. That was favor to be able to get it all before time. Yeah. Uh, I, I want you to see, I want you to see that favor, favor is, is always in it, would always be in it. In your times of trouble, favor, favor is there. In, in your good times, your bad times, favor is there. See, favor, favor, if favor works everything out. It's, it's a favorable moment when you're going through. It's a favorable moment when you come out. It is just God's favor. So he was influenced by somebody that was not named in his text. Somebody. Uh, it, you know, you got the father, you got the old elder son, and you got the younger son. But that fourth one, not Jesus in, in the fiery furnace, not him. But that old devil, it, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was a spirit that caused him. Oh, y'all didn't hear me this morning. It's a spirit, amen, because I've heard it before. Glory, I've, I, it works in the flesh. Uh, it works through three things, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the Eyes and the pride of life. Those three things. Those three things was working. It was working. He didn't mean no harm, but it was just, he just had to, he was working. And, 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 and the Lord said, I got to work those three things out of you. You hear what I'm saying? God has to work those three things out of us. Boy, I've gotten so calm now. I've gotten so calm. You're giving praise. I, I, I've gotten so calm now about stuff. Amen. And, and whenever, whenever the anxiety kick in or, or I, that, that hurry up and do something kicks in, Jolanda, you know, when, you know, that pride, that pride of life, glory, look at me. Look at what I got. I'm, the Lord told the man, let me tell you something. Did you know, do you not know? You're building, trying to build bigger barns. Do you not know that your soul is required tonight? So I'm kind of careful about any kind of endeavor. I do it. I'm going to do it, do those, but I want to make sure God look at, I, look, God, I'm too old. I just can't, I'm not old, old but I'm just, I've, I've been here around here a few days and, and I, but I'm just, I don't, I don't feel like having to recover from that one. I don't feel like recovering from that again. And I don't feel like going through that again. I, and it's coming at me. It's trying to influence me again. No, God, I don't want to have to go. No, I, that, was, that was too much work to get out of that one. That was just way too much work. I know favor was in it, but that was, wait, that, that almost drove me crazy. Matter of fact, it did drive me crazy if I tell you the truth. God, you know, and I know, God, I just, but, but God, and, and so I'm just, you know, some folks say that we were guarded. Yeah, I'm God, I am. I'm a God, my mind, body, I'm, yeah, I am God. You're right. So don't come to me with no mess. Oh, oh I done went that pastorship then. But don't, don't, don't try me because, I, you know, that might not be y'all. But see, I'm bad. It might not be y'all. And, and you, Pastor Brown, you ain't moving fast enough. Yes, I am. <laughs> I am. I'm moving fast enough. Had us had me driving. Oh, let me stop because I did some crazy stuff trying to find a Mercedes and I'm all up in Fallbrook. Crazy stuff. Thinking that I got some, you call it epithet? Did I say that wrong? What? 
Yeah, well, whatever y'all say. Uh, some, I ain't got a delusion thinking that. I had some surrounded. We are all up in, you know, there's a place up in Fallbrook called Rainbow. We was all up. I guess I thought the covenant. I don't know. I'm just dumb. Maybe I shouldn't even tell y'all that because now I feel like a fool right now. I told you. But I told you already. How, what have you done? Silly stuff. I'm a pastor. I got to drive in a certain kind of car. That thing almost the one we did get almost killed Sister Brown. I was at work. And it. <laughs> the pedal stuck on it. Woo! <laughs> Because I'm a, boy, you're going to kill somebody in that. Yeah. Couldn't get it fixed for nothing. I tried to start up a pow to torque convert or something. I do not know. But you know, in a Mercedes, those parts are ridiculous. Oh, even if it's old. Anyway, yeah, y'all go on hashtag, put me on. I don't even, I'm not even on Twitter or whatever. Y'all can do all whatever you want to do on that one. It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, but he had... Honey, he had sisters and brothers. He had departed the blessed place. You do that when someone tries to get you to do something that they already have done. You know, misery loves company. I know I'm not moving fast today. It's all good. So you got favor to get it off from God gonna get okay, I'm gonna give it to you. Okay, you you they they, they was crying about they was crying about um uh, 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 the manna, you know. Uh, first they was crying in the wilderness that you brought us out here to kill us. Boy, your life ain't nothing but a vapor of smoke. I can kill all, all mil- a million of you right now. I can just take my breath back. What are you talking about? Yeah. Cause Moses not to get into the promised land. People will cause you to lose everything that you got. They, they will talk you out because, see, they, they came out with a, a mixed multitude. So when you start mixing and mingling, amen, flesh and spirit, uh, you got to watch it because they may win you over. Well, they won me over. They can win you over under the guise of Christianity. Yes, sir. yes, they will. They, they, they will, they will uh, uh, disguise themselves. Uh, what's a sheep and wolves clothing? Maybe I shouldn't even go there because. But we've been praying, so God been exposing some stuff. Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to be your husband. Shut up and sit down and go someplace else. God ain't revealed nothing to me. I know he that found a wife found a good thing, but but you, but I ain't the one. I am not the one. I see you smell like the last one. Okay, so let me let me go it on because I, I don't I, you know yeah yeah but you but God will give you favor to lose everything that you have. Oh, shit. See, I didn't know favor was like that. He will he will cause you after he give it to you, make you lose it. Lord have mercy. How y'all doing up here? He'll make he'll make you lose. <laughs> He will cause you, favor will cause you to lose everything that you have. See, I know, I know, I know it sounds like an oxymoron. I know it's contradictory, but favor is in, favor is in your downfall. I can't hear. Oh, God have mercy. Honey, it, 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 it was the beginning. Jesus. I said, what, God? That was the beginning of his degradation. His, his, he had to lose all of that. He had to waste it. It was in God's permissive will for him to lose all that he gave him. God has a, a, a section of stuff, or, or can I say, yeah, a section of stuff that he, he, just, he just let you have. Test one, two, three. He has some stuff, Brother Michael, that he just gives to us. As, as you know how when they're making cars, 
they have a, uh, uh, they have the, you know, they have a testing vehicle. And they have about five of them that they test. I mean, the same car, fifty, sixty thousand dollar car, but they got to test that car. <laughs> Sister Brown, leave me alone. Test that car. You crazy? Test that car, Tracy. And, and <laughs> so I just wanted. <laughs> Woo! It's so funny because I know what I've had to go through, you know, and, and you really thought you were doing it. I got the blessings of the Lord on my life. The blessings of the Lord is on my life. Then all of a sudden, oh God, there's a trial and a tribulation on my life. Then, then you lose it. You, faith is still there because you could have Please believe me, you could have died a long time ago. I didn't want to get, I'm getting ahead of myself. Favor holds you intact while you are losing everything you got. Hey, shit, baby, baby. How y'all? How y'all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything that the father gave him, my God, he ended up losing it in riotous living. I want to give you this right now because I don't feel like dealing with this later on. Oh, God, have mercy. Have mercy on our soul. Have mercy on us. So, Tudor, I thought, Jesus, I was doing something. I, I thought it. Have you ever thought that? My God, have mercy. Your first, your first revelation, your first prayer meeting, you thought, am, am I right? It was something, but it wasn't all what God wanted you to have. I'm not giving you all my stuff right now. What's wrong with you? I hear you, I hear you asking me. But the favor won't allow me to release that right now. Oh, Shabbat, my God, my God. Favor calls the prodigal son to lose everything that he left with. Matter of fact, favor calls a famine to happen. Ah. You, you, you know, famine is when stuff gets blown away, torn up. Uh, you know, no crops, you know, no rain. Uh, uh, you ain't all that now. Folks don't look at you like they used to. Uh, it's still favor on your life, but it's but you're going through wilderness now. You're going through you 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 emotionless. It don't seem like nothing is happening, but everything is happening. God is not going to move until that famine dries up everything around you. Because that famine is in place for a reason. So that I know you lost that, but I want to make sure that that it, you will never be able to get that again. So I want to, then I want to cause a famine because see, he, he joined himself to a citizen of that country. Join mean to be glued. You heard what I heard said it before. Jo, join mean that you, 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 it's like being in a marriage. It, it, it's a covenant that he joined himself to a citizen of that country, right? So what he did was he, he began to, amen, take on the likes and the dislikes. He, he, he became, he tried to become one of them. Yeah. But favor won't let you do that. Mm -mm -mm, no, 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 no. Oh, oh God, it's, it's, you know too much. You done been around too much. Favor will not allow you. Have you ever just been, you know, you know, I think we just need to part our ways. And if you don't, I am. I mean, that's what everything, you know, it's just time for me to get up out of here. I just don't think it, this is, I thought it was going to work, but don't look like it's going to work. That don't have to always be a relationship, but it could be anything. You know what? Uh, Take this car back because, well, okay. Uh, let me, you know what, this, this house, this whatever, uh, I, I just, you know, I just, oh, whoever, your friends, family, whatever, I just, I don't, the, you know, not family. We try to keep them together, but sometimes, amen, praise God. But, 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 but because I wasn't raised like this. Mm -mm. Oh, Lord. See, you leave the house with favor. Mm-hmm. You go through your famine in favor, you know, your benevolence, you know, your, 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 your going through, keeping you, keeping you while you're going through. Favor won't allow you to go no further than what the Lord wants us to go, where he wants us to go. He, listen to this, he would have eaten, listen to this, 
of the pigs food. He was right there. He was in the far country. Uh, he, he, was, he, was, he was broke. A rich man broke. A rich son broke. He's, he's broke now, right? He's broke. Uh, he done lost everything. His identity is, is, is in trouble. His, 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 you know, his, his mind is in trouble. He, he, he would have eaten of the, he, they sent it to the fields to feed swine. And he would have eaten of the food that the swine did eat. But favor, the Bible says, but no one would give any, any of that to him. Thank God that favor kept us from going as far as we really wanted to go. So, Thank God that he kept me from what I almost did. What I almost would have done. And Thank God that favor, amen. My God, wait a minute. That is as far as you're going to go. I remember, amen. I couldn't, boy, I was just, I was just messed up. I couldn't even, I couldn't even smoke the stuff, cook the stuff. I was tripping. And so that was favor kicking in and said, You have done it. Enough is enough. Now, son. Uh, devil was trying to come in and tell me to commit suicide. That was when favor kicked in. And the angel of the Lord said, Well, what are you? You're going to do now it is just like it's just like when when the lord amen my god said an angel in the garden and said you can't go no can't come back in here anymore it's like god will put something in place come on somebody that amen will cause the enemy not to go any further than 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 what he's going to to you you can try him but you 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 touch his body but don't you cannot have his soul it is a, a line is drawn when favors intact my god hallelujah my god matter of fact he didn't lose everything amen he lost he lost money he lost fame come on he lost he lost his substance but he did not lose his father god thank you if i still if my father still intact glory if, god, if i still got god if i still got the holy ghost running down in my soul I could be my God. I could be in a strip club, my God, and God can bring me out. I could be my God. I could be robbing a bank, and God would get me out. I could go to jail, and God would send favor down. Matter of fact, I went to prison with favor. My God, I would go, my God, on the corners. Somebody went on the corner selling their body, but favor would not allow you to go as far as you wanted to, and he stopped you. Favor would keep your mind intact because the Bible says while he was on that journey, while he was down, my God, in a pig's pen, why he was thinking about eating of the pig slop, why he was thinking about, amen, becoming a part of them, favor kicked in, my God, and dried the whole thing up. I said, I will not allow my son to go that far. You have, I want to tell somebody today, you've gone as far as you need to go with God's permissive will. It's time for you to come to yourself. Yes, it is time for you to find yourself. Can't nobody find you but you. It is time for you to find out, my God. Do an inventory around you and see that, amen, my God. He said, in my father's house, there is bread enough and to spare. And I here I am suffering with hunger. My God, hallelujah. Let me come to myself. Let me come out of this comatose that I've been in. Let me shake myself and remember, amen, what, what, what's behind me. And remember, amen, what's before me. Remember, amen, how good I had it with my Father God. Get your mind renewed. The Bible says, Ephesians 4 and 23, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Begin to speak to yourself and talk to yourself hallelujah the bible says in ephesians 5 and 19 once you get your mind back begin to speak to yourself in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs singing and making melody in your heart unto the lord my god sing them songs go back and get my god hallelujah every song you sung if you got a rapper song if you got a singer song if you got a talker song 
song. Remember them, O hymns, said they. My God, get your hymn book and go back, amen, to the old landmarks. Hallelujah. Begin to encourage yourself. Speak over yourself. Sing a song, amen. God, send my God a stimulus package down, said they. In my God, the pig's pen and got the prodigal son up out of there. But what got him up out of there is that he came to himself. It was like his mind, my God, had left him. But then when he came to himself, he was able to see himself. He was able to encourage himself. He was able to build up his most holy faith. He had to, my God, hallelujah, come to himself. I want to tell somebody today, you've been gone long enough. I don't care what they're saying about you. You've been gone long enough. I don't care, my God, what they say about you. You're still a child of God. I don't care how long you've been gone. God is on the lookout for you. Can I get a witness? For it's not by power, nor is it by might, but it's by my spirit, self God. So my God, he got a wake-up call. Because sometimes we can fall asleep in the wrong place. Sometimes we can fall asleep in the wrong person's arms. Sometimes we can might lose ourselves. But look at somebody today and tell them, I'm about to get myself together. Because even if I go back, as a servant of my father at least I got bread and water amen to sustain me I'm looking around this pig's pen and I had to say when I was out there what in the world am I doing in this place I remember being in a condo they was calling them condos but they was going through my God trans transition they was turning the apartments into condos and here I am I didn't know where I was can I get a witness I didn't know my God I was in an abandoned apartment I did not know they were squatting this shit but here I am smoking dope not knowing where I was sometimes you don't know where you are when you're out of your mind, my God, you'll be doing some crazy things. I remember walking, amen, for days, not days, but hours, trying to get a hit. I can't get nobody to help me today. But I remember being in the house that night, and I smoked all my stuff up that day. But then it got uh, evening. I walked home, amen. My God, I argued with Sister Brown, gave her what I had which was nothing. And my God, he gets that. But I walked back over there, hallelujah, and just sat there, hoping somebody would give me a hit. Can I get a witness? In a far country, in a strange place, walking in darkness, sitting in darkness, standing in a seat, sitting in the seat of the scornful. My God, can I get a witness? My God, yes, I was walking in a council, sitting in the seat, standing and my God with the, my, the scornful. Yes, I was called by God, but I was in a dark place. Called by God, but I was in a strange place. My God trying to get high, but the Father says, I want you to see yourself. So I begin to look around, and I said, good God of mercy. They was doing some scandalous things, and the women would do some crazy things because they're more emotional about it. They was doing anything just to get a little finger full of something that wasn't going to do nothing for nobody. But see, when you get low down on the curve, you'll find yourself doing anything. Don't you never say that you'll never do that again. Don't you ever, yes, you say that, but don't never, ever, ever say that I would never do that because given the right place, given the right time, and given the right situation, you might just do it. If, it's, if favor ain't there, you will do it. But God said, who can you talk about? You just one paycheck away for being scandalous just like that. So the thing is, God had to work on my mind. But the prodigal son had to get himself together. He said, I'm going to tell heaven, tell heaven that I've sinned and I, re and I repent. 
But I'm going to tell my Father, my God, that I've sinned against thee and God in heaven, against thee, and I am no more worthy to be called your son. My God, just make me as one of your hired servants. That's all I want you to do is just bring me back in the house. But I can't last, I won't last out here. Not another day. But the Father, somebody say, but the Father. The Father has something else in mind because favor was knocking on the door. The Father caught him, ran while he was a great way off, and hugged him and kissed him. And he spoke these words Bring out the best robe. Put a, my God, a robe on him. My God, put my, a, fing, a ring on his finger. Put shoes on his feet. See, when God is getting ready to restore you, he'll give you something you never had. He'll put something on you that you've never worn before. What is all this royalty? The Lord, you're putting on an unworthy son. What is all this royalty that you're putting on a filthy, nasty, my God's son? What is this? I don't understand you. I don't understand favor. I thought favor, amen, had left me. But God, what is this you're putting on me? I haven't been able to take a shower yet. What is this you're putting on me? You bring out the best robe. I should see that robe when I was in the house. I didn't, but I didn't know the robe was for me. I didn't know you were saving that robe for me. You had something better in mind because you brought out the best robe. Of all the robes in the house, you put that robe on me. I want to tell somebody, your robe is waiting on you. Your endowment is waiting on you. The anointing is waiting on you. The anointing is waiting on your return. The robe is waiting. My God, the servants is waiting. The father is waiting. The house is waiting. I wish somebody would catch this today. Hallelujah. It's waiting. It's waiting on you. Yes. Get yourself back. It's waiting on you. The party can't get started until you get back. Hallelujah is waiting on you. Hallelujah. The royalty is waiting. The glory is waiting. The honor is waiting. The ordination is waiting. It's been waiting on us. Charles God been waiting. I need some help. He's waiting for us to get back. He's waiting. Somebody say he's waiting. Devil, thank you. God is waiting on me. Thank you, citizens. But God is waiting on me. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. Hey. He's waiting. He's waiting. God is waiting. Yes. God is waiting. He's waiting for you. He's waiting for me. Somebody bless him now. it out. Bring that thing out that closet. My son is back. Bring me that calf. We getting ready to have a barbecue. My son was lost and he's now found. He was dead but he's alive again. God is waiting for you. Yeah Lord. Yeah Lord. Yellow. Yes, Shabba. Shabba. Honey, that special garment. I couldn't put it on you. Shit, that bitch. Why you was in a pig's pen? Because I don't waste my glory on nobody. I don't cast my pearl before swine. Shit, that. Nor my bread before dogs. Because the swine going to trample on it and, and the dog's going to tear it. Now I'm waiting for you because I can't hold this glory no longer. So I got to, thank you Lord. So, 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 Shana, God has to speed up the process. 
So let me take all this, tear all this stuff down. Let me break you down and build you back up. Because I got, I got time on this. I done put time in you, and I got time on this. You didn't know I was watching you while you was, while you was, while you was smoking and you was drinking and you was uh, doing all pornography and all kind of stuff. You, you were, you didn't know, amen, that your mom and your dad had prayed for you. He, you didn't know, amen, that that favor made them pray. Lord, just keep the favor on their life. That's what we need to do now. Just pray. God, keep that favor on them. I know they're hard-headed now. I know they ain't listening now. And they don't understand. But God, amen. They're just young. But don't take that favor off of them. I believe it was David said, amen. Take everything you want, but never take your Holy Ghost away from me. See, that's favor. We don't have to. We, God didn't have to give us the Holy Ghost. God didn't have to breathe life into us. Matter of fact, God didn't, didn't have to allow us to be born. Favor is fair. Because all the hell I've been through for the little stuff that I got. Don't you ever tell me favor ain't fair. Don't never say you trying to hurt, you trying to hurt me. You trying to, my God, hallelujah, make me feel indifferent about my God. Favor is fair. Favor is fair. Don't you ever be ashamed of the favor God put on your life. You ride until the wheels fall off. Ride in the caddy and whatever. Ride to the wheels. For, don't you be ashamed of the favor. The devil is a liar because I know you went through hell for what you have. I know you did. And it's not our money. But that you can walk in a hospital and speak a word and a person get healed in the name of Jesus. You can preach a word, amen, and, and my God, what Peter, 3,000 be added to the church. That's favor. How that Saul, a persecutor of the church, my God, can pray in a dungeon and cause an earthquake to open the jail cells of everybody. Cause a house to be shaken again. Cause a person to come in this church and pray. And all of a sudden, everything started changing. And they did both come my mama said they both see Yeah, they did both see another book come my mama said. Son, it ain't the hardest what you think is they did both see my mama. It's favor, shadebosi. Favor, shandebobosi. Favor, shandebobosi. Just don't worry about them not liking you. It's favor. Hallelujah. God meant for it to be the way it's going to be. Just favor. Just favor. How did God, who did it? Favor? The elder son, Tudor, was outside listening, Tracy, amen, and asked the servants, what is all that, that music going on in that house? What does that mean? Man, they was in there getting down. I don't know whether it was shout music or not. I don't, know. I don't know what they was doing. I don't know whether it was some R&B. I don't know whether it was rap music. I don't, know. I don't know what was going on in that house. But they was getting down. They had that calf, boy. They was, they was roasting that calf, that pig. Come on. That sacrifice, that's what it meant. Oh, yeah, they was roasting that baby. And the service was happy. The whole house was happy except for the knucklehead in the field. Because it's an indicative. If you read 15, started for the first verse, he was talking in terms of that heaven rejoices over one sinner that repent. He was dealing with the Pharisees that felt like, hey, amen, if you didn't have what they had, you was not getting saved. I can't get it. See, that's what religious people would do to you, Cliff. They would, they would talk to you out of, forgive me, forgive me, out of your drawers if you let them. Oh, God, I'm sorry. That was street. That was street knowledge. I'm sorry. I just went... That was old school. I wasn't sorry about that. I just, you'd be sitting there naked as a jaybird. Take everything and laugh at you. But they don't know. You might do that. But like the message last week, I will rise again. Yes, I will. Favor will pump you up. And they may say, it will motivate us. 
times when I said, Lord, I don't know. And all of a sudden, favor kicks in. And the spirit of God will move in a place. Get you back up on your feet. That's all I need to do. If God just get us back up on our feet. I'm going to do what I said I'm going to do. I'm going to repent. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. God, I, I, number one, I've sinned against heaven and my father. I got to get it right with you first. Do with the person I did wrong. I, I, I shouldn't have never left my father's house. But I'm glad I did. Because I ain't never wore nothing like this before in my life. God have mercy. I, geez, I didn't even ask for all this. But I got all this because I went through all that to get all this. For we know all things. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. All things. That's what we talk about Friday night. All things work together for the good of those that are called according to his purpose. I believe God just wanted the whole house to really be saved. If you get come back up in there like, oh, God, if you can do it for, like Paul said, he was the chief of sinners. If you can do it for them, shoot, lay it on me, God, because if you, I, he was worse than what I am. <laughs> Jesus. At least I was able to come home at night. I, I, I just didn't come home at all. Clothes all in the front yard. All my little zoot suit. Well, I'm praising the Lord. Uh, but if you only knew, this is rhyming too, if you only knew what I had to go through, shit day, you would say favor is fair. And my life is brand new. Oh, boy, you need to go and wrap that. <laughs> because if I say I'm all right now, I want to talk to some people. I know you've gone through. You're already, for, you know, but, but this is a, a refreshing course for you. But that's someone today. We're going to take our communion. Someone today. You didn't, think, you didn't think that favor was still available for you. But I want to say it never left you. That's why you weren't able to do the same things other folks was doing. I, I'm going to tell somebody, it, it, that didn't start getting on your nerves. It was okay at first. The reason it's working on earth is because God is ready to deliver you and to bring you out, to bring you forth. God wants to put this robe on you. Yes, he do. He wants he want to uh, change, my God, yeah, change your life today. I just want to pray, and we're getting ready to take our communion. If you, all you have to do is just open your mouth and say, "Lord, save me." I'm wrong. I was wrong. I need you in my life today. Help me, God, because I can't get out of this. I can't get out of this stronghold unless you bring me out, oh God. There's a marriage that's going through turmoil right now. I want to pray that God's favor would reconnect you. Shit, get you back to where the place where you're supposed to be in the name of Jesus. Because there's a name in it, and there's honor in it, then also there's praise in it. God, we thank you for your word today. Thank you for your blessings, oh God. Favor is fair. We bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Man, favor is fair. Come on, put your hands together and praise the Lord. Amen. God is an awesome, awesome, awesome God. And if you have made a decision today to give your life to Christ, again, please go to the Facebook, I mean, to the website at choiceharvest.org and connect there. But we thank God for being the merciful God that he is, being the God that loves our soul. Thank God that even after the enemy tries to destroy us, that God steps in and makes sure that we get back to his house. And I was looking at uh, my nephew had been in a car accident and he um, had wrote this morning that he used to hate to be at home. He's been in the hospital for about four weeks, but 
He said, but now I can't wait to get home. So I say that to somebody that, you know, all that you have been through, the desire that comes up in your heart when you see that favor is fair because he didn't have to make it back. Amen. But thanks be unto God that the Lord's mercy endureth forever. He got broke down, but God is going to build back up. Anybody that's listening, that you know that you know that you need the Lord Jesus in your life, and you know that you know that you walked away from God, the Lord would not leave it like that. He would not have it like that, that you cannot come back to him. Amen. But when you come back, you're coming back in a different way. Amen. Let's give the Lord a praise. Amen again. And we're not going to belabor the time. I did have something prepared uh, concerning how Jesus took the towel. Amen. And after the, the, the supper and Satan had already put it on the mind of Judas to betray him. And Jesus wasn't moved by that. But we just want to thank the Lord for being as humble as he was to take the towel off after supper and wash the feet of the disciples. And Peter was the one that, you know, I think it was a private conversation. You know, I can imagine how, you know, Jesus, when he got the bowl of water and was going around from one disciples to another washing their feet, and I could see in their eyes like, ooh, your water is so dirty. You don't know what I've been through. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then when he comes to Peter, Peter says, Lord, you know, what are you doing washing my feet? The Lord said, if I don't wash you, then you have no part in me. Amen. And Peter said, well, wash me from the top of my head to the sole of my feet then. And the Lord said, I don't have to wash your whole body. I just need to wash your feet. But what this symbolizes is the humility that is in Christ and the selfless love that he has for us. You know, we're living in a world now where everybody is so high minded. And so we can symbolize this same example by doing something for somebody that would change their life. No, you're not going to go grab somebody's feet. And, and there's somebody here in this church that you mentioned the word feet, they out of here. Amen. But what the Lord is saying unto us is that we need to be just like he was unto them to each other. We need to have that selfless love. Amen. We need to do things and help, help one another, you know, call somebody, you know, send them some flowers, do something. You could do it in another way. Just humble yourself. Amen. And when you humble yourself, then it'd be very difficult for you to be high minded and not be up under the anointing. God may need you to go and wash somebody's feet. Usually people wash them because they said they did something to somebody. But if you did something to somebody, just go and ask them for forgiveness and keep moving. Yes. Amen. Get that cleared up. Amen. So Pastor Brown is going to lead us in the communion. And we just thank you for joining us on today. And that um, when Jesus took the towel, it's in John chapter 13. Just read the entire chapter. God, we just thank you, God, for this communion. We thank you, Jesus, for sitting setting this time aside for us, oh God, that we may commune with you and one with another. Bless this communion today, Father. I pray, God, even here and even those that are watching, God, streaming service, that they will be blessed, oh God, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. The Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And in the name of Jesus, he, and when he had Given thanks, he broke the bread and said, take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same man, he took the cup. And when he had supped, saying, this cup is a new covenant in my blood this do as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup ye do show the Lord's death till he come 
Thank you, God. God, we thank you for your blessings today. We give you all the glory. Thank you even for the word. Thank you for the worship. We thank you for the sweet communion, oh God. We will keep doing this until we see you again, oh Father. Thank you, God. Wash our soul. Wash our mind. Watch, wash, God, our very spirit, oh God. Hallelujah. I thank you, Jesus. We'll always give you the praise and the glory. For it is the blood, hallelujah, my God, that was shed for the remission of our sins. We thank you, Father, hallelujah, for your divine healing, your divine deliverance. Thank you, Father, hallelujah, that you're here to set the captives free. We give you the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Clap your hands and love the Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I know it yes, was Lord. the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, yes. Jesus died upon the cross. And I know it was the blood for me. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, Jesus died upon the cross. I know it was the blood for me. Yes, Lord. Thank you, God. God bless you. We're so thankful. With awesome time, amen. We will send our schedule out for next week. I want to say that on Tuesday, we're celebrating 35 years. Well, actually, 40 years. We've been together. Five years. Shacking. Praise God. Sunday, Shabbat, Shabbat. But that led to something. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He looked past our faults and saw our needs. But for 35 years, and we're so thankful. Amen. 31 years in ministry. We love you. Amen. God bless. No, it was the blood. No, it was the blood. I know oh, it, it was, was the blood for me. One day when, when I was lost, lost Jesus died upon the cross. I know, I know it was the blood for me. How to get way out here? Man, Woo. I gotta wake up. Man, I'm headed back to the father's house, man. I came a little too far out. When I came to myself, since he did it, I live a life for Christ, and God knows that I'm with it. The bloody day, he rose from his grave, and since I've been acquitted. God knows that I'm with it. The bloody day, he rose from the grave, my sins have been acquitted. And I admit it, I live in his forgiveness.